colleagues now with respect to an anniversary that is taking place or rather that took place today and that's just after a day after the inspector general of the police joseph bonnet issued an alert over impending attacks uh, impending terror attacks al shabab militiamen attempted to ambush a kdf camp in baure in lamu county 11 of them were neutralized while two kdf soldiers died in a crossfire and this comes as residents of lamu marked one year since the mpeketoni attack that left over 48 people dead in that morning. At the crack of dawn, an unknown number of gunmen made their way to a KDF camp at Baure, Lamu County. Armed with sophisticated weapons, they launched an attack on the soldiers but were then thwarted. Eleven of them killed in the process, two of whom were of Caucasian origin. The KDF suffered losses when two soldiers were killed in the crossfire. With the Kenyan soldiers trying to ascertain how many attackers they were, one thing was certain that a section of them escaped into Bonnet Forest. They were injured. 12 AK 47s, 5 RPGs, 8 grenades, and a video camera, among other items, were recovered. The KDF, in a statement, said they were on high alert and in search of the other members of the group. But that was just hours before residents of Lamu congregated to mark the first anniversary of the Mpeketoni attack, where more than 60 people were killed. Al Shabab militia stormed the town that fateful night, head hunted for the men and shot them in cold blood. An emotional moment for some as the monument bearing the names of the slain civilians was unveiled. Hassan the late James Masharia was shot as he was in a story aired by KTN, the return to Mpeketoni about a month ago, it revealed the sorry state in which residents of the area had been left in. A town slowly crumbling economically, widows left without any compensation and hardly any answers to questions pertaining the attack. <laughs> Some of the issues the residents hoped would be addressed by the government. However, messages of unity and peace took center stage while the leaders condemned the heinous activities of the Al Shabaab terror group. Even though terrorists lay dead here, the fact that they were able to yet again move freely and make their way to a military base is in itself telling of the security situation in Peketoni. One year on, Ian Wafula, KTN.